what are the key learnings do you think from this morning's session specifically? What do you think really sparked some interesting debate, some interesting thinking? I think the key things that hopefully people have got out of this morning, I think, is the importance of being very close to the customer, understanding them, innovating and, and reacting very quickly to change before somebody else actually spots that opportunity and gets there. And I think also probably the, one of the key things is we've gone through a very difficult period, there's been a lot of gloom, now's the time to be thinking about the opportunities for the next few years. Well as we're trying to get our way out of uh, the recession, investing in marketing is a sensible thing to do if you spend your money well. And this involves investing in understanding customers, understanding the distribution channels, and really understanding what motivates customers to buy and what switches them on rather than simply trying to cut costs. So it's focus on the customer, focus on the motivations and the routes to market. You mentioned the idea that the, uh, the economy may be far more polarised than it ever has been. What, what does that concept mean? Well, I think what we're thinking about here is I think when you go through these very difficult periods, and I think what we're going to be seeing over the next few years is growth is likely to be more slower, there's likely to be more volatility, uncertainty, and it's actually going to be those companies that are actually able to spot the trends, react very quickly to them and put the right stresses in place that will actually be successful. And probably you'll see a big polarisation in fortunes between those companies that are well run, alert and fast moving and those that aren't. This is probably the toughest time in the world economy we've seen uh, since the Second World War. So smart business is representing such a big part uh, of the, uh, uh, the GDP. Yeah. It's critical that we uh, uh, engage and help them become smarter. DIY media is where you use the cheaply available technology to communicate to customer groups without using mass marketing, using things like Facebook, online videoing and blogging to build your message quickly, effectively and cheaply to your target audience. We trust as customers other customers and other consumers, so really what you've got to do is identify customers who have social groups of contacts and lots of friends and their views are widely received. And you can use those people to market for you because they're the people that other people trust. Mid-market uh, businesses have very limited resources, so with the technology and with communications, they can become more efficient and effective in what they do. Using technology to create advocacy is important, but it's dangerous if you misuse it. So getting involved in blogs and getting trying to be seen as managing blogs is a dangerous thing to do. So I think you've got to look at what consumers are doing on the blog, blog sphere, look at their conversations and try and work out a way of understanding what they're really talking about. What have you uh, taken from the debate this morning? I've taken from this debate this morning, I've taken that technology is interesting. I'm really excited to listen to what other people are going to say this afternoon about how we use communications technology to really better understand the marketplace.